Hey everyone, this is probably my favorite video to film, my favorites video, because it's all good and happy and stuff that I love. So April, wow, for me, what a month. I traveled three out of four weekends this month. So absolutely crazy and wouldn't trade it for the world, had the best time. Let's get on to the favorites. So it is all over the place, kind of like me. Let's start with beauty, and those of you who aren't interested in the rest can just click out. So the first is a drugstore find. I am obsessed with this line. It's the Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette, and this is in the shade, it comes in different shades, light to medium. I took this with me to the conference. It has a highlighter, nope, wrong way. It has a highlighter, blush, and bronzer built in, and they are perfect together. Um, I wore this every day of the conference. It's just, I'm not wearing it today because I'm testing some new stuff, but you'll be hearing about. Um, if you are curious as to what I'm wearing, if I don't mention it, everything is listed in the description box in the order in which I mention it, and then at the very bottom is what I'm actually wearing. So anyway, soft, buttery, creamy, pigmented, beautiful, blendable, cannot say enough good things about it. This is a travel must-have. I've been using this pretty much nonstop every day, even at home. More from the drugstore, and I have to say, while I will have a link for you to check it out, go buy this in store. <laughs> um, I appreciate all of your support, especially when you click those links and make it possible for me to go to things like the Reward Style Conference, but seriously, um, if I can find the cheapest, online i list that but if it's a better deal in store i will tell you that too and you can get these on the milani website i believe for twenty dollars each i haven't seen them online at walmart but in store at walmart i think they're only 14 or 15 each so save yourself some money and buy them in store um, if that's changed i will put that in the description box but these two palettes um, both by milani um, i picked up the most loved mattes which are um you know 12 mattes, and they are designed to be worn in a quad like that, going vertically in the palette, or of course mix and match, which is what I like to do. Huge mirror, definitely looks like the Stila shadow eyeshadow palette packaging. And then I also got their Bold Obsessions palette, which is a nice mix of mostly shimmer shades, metallic shades, and a handful of mattes. And I wore this palette at least two days of the conference as well. Just drugstores killing it. I mentioned these earlier this month, but the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine lipsticks, I cannot get enough of. And I brought these two along to the conference, actually. It's, they are the shade Polished Tango and Burnished Blush. Just so shiny and creamy and beautiful. All kinds of colors. A little bit of a pain because you have to line up the cap just so to close it with the notch. But, you know, the other than that, the only other negative is because they're so shiny. Obviously, the longevity isn't great. You need to reapply, but they feel so nice on the lips. Who cares? And they're very affordable. Another lip product that's kind of not drugstore, but not crazy, is the Ciate London Liquid Chrome. I got it in the shade Luna, and I wore it in a video earlier this month. I believe I wore it actually in my Sephora Ulta haul. It looks a little nuts in the tube, but the shimmery metallic part of it is like... It's very similar to my lip color, just bumped up a notch, and it just makes your lips look shiny and full. It's not really an over-the-top metallic finish, so very, very wearable. And then to the ridiculously expensive for what it is, but it's a favorite, and I look back on my vlogs, and the days where I don't list what I'm wearing on my lips or I don't know, it's probably this. Um, I picked this up when I did the collaboration with Bloomingdale's featuring Cicely Paris products, and I wanted to pick one product from each of their categories, hair, skin, and makeup, and this was the most reasonably priced option for makeup. It's still a lot of money for what it is. This is the um, Cicely Paris Fido Lip Twist. I have it in the shade two. I'm wearing it today. It is a twist up, kind of uh, tinted. It's not really a lip balm because it's much more pigmented than a balm, but it has the weight and texture of a balm. I have it in the shade two. I think it's baby is the shade. It's the most wearable color. It feels so nice on the lips. The pigment does last longer than similarly made items, but I, you know, it's a splurge. I believe it's $50. So, um, but to be honest, I bought this with my own money and I've been wearing it. This lives in my purse. I had to go dig in my purse to show you this. So if you're into this, um, I recommend it. And then the last lip product I haven't had for very long. You're going to see some more from this line, but I love it. It's the Kopari Lip Glossy. And I think it's 
meant to be worn, you know, out of the house as like just a clear lip gloss. And the more you put it on, the like the more product you put on, the glossier your lips get. But I find it to be incredibly moisturizing and soothing and smoothing. So I just leave this on my bathroom counter and it smells really good. I, I can't really, do, I guess it's coconutty, but there's a little bit of rose in it. Coconut rose scent. See, it's just, you can't see anything. It's just shiny on my hand. Nothing to it. Um, I put it on in the morning. I put it on at night. I'm probably going to go through this thing in a month. It is such a great little product. Sticking with Kapari, let's talk about these two. Um, also fairly recent, but immediately became favorites the first time I used them and I've been using them nonstop. These were both given to me as well as the lip gloss from Kapari. Um, when I went to the conference, they had a little um, booth at the brand hall, they call it, and I got to play with this stuff. I'm like, yes, please. They are the Kapari um, Coconut Oil, Coconut Cleansing Oil, and Coconut Rose Toner. So I've been playing with um, double cleansing, and I do an oil first, and then I use my Colleen Rothschild Radiant Cleansing Balm as the follow-up. This started more because I got white towels and I didn't want to get them all dirty than for any other reason. Um, and I've been enjoying the oil that I have been using, which is the Paula's Choice Cleansing Oil, which I do really, really like. But then I tried this one. You shake it up first and it smells amazing. It, it's not really a spray. It has more of a pump. And I do about four pumps. It smells so beautifully of roses. and it's But it feels more like a dry oil. And I just massage it all over my face dry face, but you can use it wet. I like the versatility. And then I just wash it off with a cloth. My skin, really, I don't need a second cleanse after that. I mean, it takes off all my makeup, but my skin feels so soft. There's no tightness, but it's not over. I don't know, it's, it's kind of amazing. I do follow up with my Radiant Cleansing Balm because I just love it and I do wanna make sure I get everything off. And then farther into the skin routine, right before I put on my moisturizer, which is an oil, strangely enough, I splash on a little bit of this toner. Um, obviously, it's probably meant to be put on bare skin. I could do that too. I've also used it to kind of set my makeup and mist. It's the Coconut Rose Toner. I just like the scent. It makes my skin feel so nice. Another way that I use it is I wash my face in the morning at my sink and then I go wash the rest of me in the shower. And sometimes my face feels a little bit dry because I haven't followed up right away with my skincare routine. So I'll spritz a little bit of this on as I'm getting into the shower. This is going to be used extensively throughout the summer. I love it. Then let's talk some hair products. This is a game changer. I just have the travel size. It's the Aveda Control Force Hairspray. And I've always avoided this because all I saw was firm hold hairspray. And I want to be able to, you know, run my fingers through my hair and whatnot. But what I didn't realize is it's an anti-humidity hairspray. And when we went to visit Jake the first time, it was raining all weekend. I sprayed my hair with this and it held. I will insert a picture of me having been rained on, how well my hair, I think, held up. I do like that you can get a travel size. This is a just, if you live in a humid climate or are around rain, you need this in your life. One last hair thing, mention this in the haul. This is the T3, um, you buy the base, but specifically I wanna talk about, is it hot? A little warm. Um, the T3 curling barrel. So you can just buy different, I don't want, different heads, different barrels. So this is the one and a quarter inch clamp. And I took this along with me to the conference and I offered it to my roommate to try and she was like, no, no, I brought my own curling iron. I'm like, okay. And then as we got into it that first day, she was like, can I please try it? My, my hair is just not holding the curl. So I gave this to her and she could not believe the difference, how quickly it heated up, how evenly her curls turned out, how fast it glided through her hair. I'm like, I told you this stuff is amazing. So you gotta try this. If you try one thing from T3, their curling iron, whether that's just standalone or if you already have this and you wanna just get the, if you already have the base and you just wanna try the barrel, I am, it's amazing, it's a game changer. I say that a lot, game changer. What does that even mean? It's just a great product and you will very much enjoy having it in your life. Let's talk accessories, these sunglasses. I think the brand Key, which is spelled Q-W-A-Y and one would think is pronounced Quay, but it is not. The Key brand is my favorite brand because the price point is around $50, $55 for most of their sunglasses, which I find to be very affordable um, compared to like Ray-Bans or you know Chanel or whatever. Um, 
I like big sunglasses. A few of you have commented, wow, those are really big. Yes, yes they are. I like them big. One, they hide my wrinkles, and two, they prevent future wrinkles because they, you know, cover up all the delicate areas from the sun. I love mirrored sunglasses. I like, these are actually gray slash lilac, they say. As far as I'm concerned, they're gray. Um, I love these. I love, I've just. Also, let's talk these. These are really old. Well, in YouTube land, they're really old. These are the Pina pineapple stud earrings from Bobble Bar. These just make me smile. I think I got them last year. Um, obviously, the pineapples are a little quirky and irreverent, but buried under all this hair, it's really just an iridescent, very neutral earring that I can pair with a lot of different things. And yet, it's a little bit fun and a little bit silly and a little irreverent, which is kind of how I think of myself. As far as the purse of the month, I'm still really, the one I've consistently used throughout April is the Reagan Satchel from Rebecca Minkoff, but something that I did differently that has been, made this purse even better than it originally was, is I found this, so Rebecca Minkoff, let me just get to the point. Rebecca Minkoff makes, they're called guitar straps because they look like a guitar strap and you can just clip them in onto any bag, really. It doesn't have to be one of theirs. And I love this concept because the strap, the crossbody strap that came with this was like this big. And so it distributed no weight and it felt like my arms are gonna fall, my shoulder was gonna fall off because I am guilty of overstuffing my bag. This, I actually found it on Amazon. There's plenty at Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's and what have you, but I really wanted this particular one and Amazon still had it. Um, and it matches the bag perfectly and the, it's, it's on the back side, it's just flat leather so it doesn't dig into my shoulder and it, Every, every tote should have a strap that wide. I love it. They have them in all kinds of colors and textures and some with grommets and whatever, but I just like this flat embroidery. It's very neutral. And um, like I said, I wish every bag had it. So no purse of the month, but definitely a purse accessory of the month right here. Another favorite from April was my collaboration with Chico's. And I'll tell you why. Because while some of their clothes admittedly did not fit me quite right, particularly the jeans, but I love them so much, I'm actually taking them in to get altered because the fabric is so soft and just, anyway. Um, it opened my eyes to a new brand and there are some really great takeaways from that collaboration. First of all, what I am wearing right now, which is the tank, which um, you would have seen in my What I Wore to the Reward Style Conference video, this tank and the matching cardigan, It's these are gonna be a summer go-to. This lightweight cotton is just so nice. It feels really well made. It has pockets. I like that the tank, it has, you know, like a V neck, but it's not cut so low that if I bend over, it's not gonna get X-rated, which, you know, when you're vlogging is something to think about. And the armholes are cut high enough that I can wear a regular bra. I love that. And I haven't really found that in a lot of lines. I also really, really like the floral pants that I picked up that you would have seen as well that I wore in the conference. They, if prints are not your thing, I get it. Not everyone wants that they're pretty busy. They do come in solids. And I think those are a great work pant. They have a hidden panel in them. They're stretchy. There's no zipper, so they're really comfortable. They don't wrinkle at all. I just pulled them right out of my suitcase and wore them. So I'll be going back and purchasing some of the solid ones just so that I can have them because I find myself dressing up more often than I thought I did. So it's good to have like a nice stable of go-to work pants or go-to dress pants that I don't really have to worry about. And I really enjoy the non-wrinkle part, I have to say. Last thing I wanna talk about, one, because I ordered a ton of these and I've been handing them out like crazy at the conference, um, and also because I get questioned about these a lot, are my business cards. Look, there's my face. So I order my business cards from Moo.com. I have been for a very long time. I also get my media kits printed through them, um, which is kind of like a resume with pictures for my business. And um, I designed this myself. They have a gajillion, probably. That's a real number. Templates, but um, I just designed mine on Microsoft Publisher and just uploaded my own thing. I chose to put my picture in because in the YouTube blogging world, you meet a lot of blondes. We all start looking the same. So it's nice to put a picture with the name. Um, and they do gold foil now. So they have, I can do my gold girl emblem with shiny gold and they're very reasonable and the shipping is really fast. And I just, I, I love them. So, um, and they're a little more unique and a little, I'd say better quality than Vistaprint or some of the other places you can go to print business cards. So moo, like a cow.com, check those out. 
not sponsored. Thanks for sticking through this kind of frenetic favorites video. I promise I will not talk about that conference again, at least for a little while. I'm sure you're sick of it. As always, thank you so much for all of your support, all of your kindness. It is so appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.